And here we are with the Galant Rifle, better known as the M1 Garand. This is basically a reskin of the M308 with some, st uh, some stats tossed around. And my god, this gun is really, really fun to use. Let's go ahead and go over the stats. The base stats for the weapon are 72, or you get 8 in a magazine, 72 reserve ammo, 600 rounds per minute, 160 damage, 84 accuracy, 36 stability, 20 concealment, 31 base fret level, and 1.5 reload time. And with my current skills and modifiers, I have it up to uh, 11 extra rounds, which makes it 83 total ammo. 170.1 damage, 96 accuracy, 68 stability, 15 concealment, and 34 fret level. Let's go ahead and go over the modifications, which are as suits. There's a skin, of course, right here, the Freedom Fighter. Pretty nice skin. I really like the white. I actually might get the skin myself anyways. So, barrel has a custom modification for the barrel, which you lose 16 stability, but you get 4 concealment. I imagine this might be good if you want to try to get this weapon to work in a dodge build, though I personally don't like it myself. Here's the preview for it. As you can see right there, that's what it looks with that going on. Barrel extension is like any other barrel extension mods for rifles and submachine guns. You have some boosts here. And you have a custom foregrip, which basically is just a cosmetic thing. You look below the Seymour site, and you can see it just it's just a, it's either you have wood or you have the metal grating with this. It doesn't change any stats, it's just a purely cosmetic thing. You have any gadget you would like, any sight you would like, and a mag pouch stock which basically gives you 11 extra rounds of reserve without any other downside. This is a really, really good modification that I highly recommend you put on as soon as you can, as there is no downsides to it and you get extra ammo. What more could you like? I have my personal M1 Garand modded with the competitor's compensator, the Seymour sight and the mag pouch and that, and the custom foregrip, and that is all. The commissar's men will be on edge after what you did to the motel. Indeed. Hello beauties and gentlemen, this is the gameplay right after the stat well, discussion basically. And this is of course the Galant Rifle. And of course I'm also going to be using the Luger with it, just for time's sake. Alright, so, the Galant Rifle, as I said before in the ma the review, but not really the review, this discussion, that this is a very, it's basically a reskin of the M308 with stats modified. Which, as I said before with the MP40 and Luger, I'm not really complaining about that. In fact, I kind of like that. I don't really have any complaints. The sounds and animations of this gun, well, I mean... I think that sums it up for you, huh? In other words, it's really good and I love it, okay? It's, it's absolutely amazing. This is, what, this is not my favorite weapon in the pack. It's probably the MP40, because that last one of my personal favorite weapons of all time. I still really love this gun, though. It's, it's strong, but it's like not as amazing as the M308. In a way, the M308, I imagine, would be better. It has more mag capacity, more ammo. Uh, the stats overall are much better. You know, there's a lot more concealment. You know, not not concealment. Uh, what do you call it? Stability. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Of course, this is being played on overkill as well, so, you know, mileage may vary on higher difficulties above this, such as Mayhem and Deathwish, but on overkill, it's a very solid weapon. I did use this on Mayhem for uh, one heist, and it, it worked fairly okay. I find that it's it definitely, its downsides start to show a lot more on higher difficulties, but, you know, I'm not really too angry about that. But I will say, my god, I love everything about this gun in terms of animations and sound. It's basically everything I wanted and more. And, it, and of course, the dry reload is faster than the actual tactical reload, which I love little details like that, because that's completely right. I mean, you can't just ad-lib that, so that's not how that works. This will probably jam like one more time before we can get through. And I'm still using the push daggers, because I kind of forgot to change them, but whatever. Who, who cares, right? It's a melee weapon. Be quiet, Commissar. The staircase is blocked off. There must be a way up nearby. Uh, pardon me. Not good for opening doors, I'll say that much. So as I said, yes, mileage may vary in higher difficulties, but as I said in overkill and below, phenomenal rifle, it really is. And the way I have it modified just kind of gives all the stats, well, except some of them, of course, a good little boost. You know, competitor's compensator, LED combo, and all that sort of stuff. And, and the mag pouch upgrade, of course, is awesome. You know, no direct, it's just a direct 
direct upgrade and no downside. Too late, darling. Coming in. Uh, trying to shoot him, but I can't. Yeah, my aim is a little bit off because I was just using the MP40. But, you know, hey. And yes, this is being, this is also recorded right after the MP40. Rather obviously, that's why I picked a two day heist. <laughs> the crazy Ivan. Look at that. That is just beautiful. It really is. Oh, I thought I could hit the flashbang, but I didn't. And the skin for this is, like, absolutely amazing. The white, white wood on, like, any old-timey gun. Mm, that's a weight of my heart. It really is. Excuse me, shield. Oh, and the ammo pickup for this weapon is, uh, well, fairly decent for the most part. I find that you get, you get about two rounds per ammo pickup. So it's, like, two, one to two rounds per ammo box. Which is honestly not that bad. It, it's really not bad. It's probably about the same as the M308. I, I mean, I don't really quite recall the ammo pickup rate for the, the 308, but I imagine it's about the same considering it's based off of it. Does that make any sense? I think that makes sense. Goodness, my aim. I apologize. But hey, at least you get to hear that beautiful cling every time I have to reload, huh? Like that. I, I really love that. I, that's why the M1 Garand is one of my favorite rifles from World War II, besides, well, a lot of other reasons, but just. Man, that sound is beautiful. And I also love this weapon in the, the Half-Life 2 mod S mod. S mod Redux, actually, it's hard for me. Will do. I will. Now yeah, we got a break. I'm actually going to pause the recording for a second and blow my nose because I am awfully sick. So, one second. And I'm back. Apologies for that. Ugh, my nose is disgusting currently. I don't want you to hear that. <laughs> as much as I sound like a weird elephant when I do it. Oh, and of course, another thing I love about that, this uh, weapon is just the reload is very swift. Even without AI boost, it's really nice and fast. I assure you on that. Pardon me, gotta reload. In a way, you shouldn't even really try to attack the reload with this gun, since it's faster to reload via, uh, well, just a dry reload. So I imagine that's something you could learn with this weapon, just to have a nice, quick reload, but, you know, it's not something you need to use the weapon, but you need to learn to use the weapon, but it's still something nice if you can pick it up. I picked the drill jam. Yes, I did. Well, that's, that's an awful brood of you, drill. I saved you from a fire, and you're going to do that to me, huh? God, I love that reload. It's so good. I, it's just, I'm really happy with the update for this so far. The only thing I don't like is that they had to change the Lua. But, you know, it had to happen at some point, and I imagine BLT and everything will be fixed at some point, so people could stop the whining. That's the one thing I do not like about the painting community, just to go off topic. Whiners. Good lord, are all of you mad children? You whine about everything. Free update? Whine. DLC? Whine. Just stop whining. Good lord. You want to whine, go whine for the TF2 people. Or the TF2 community. I mean, you know, hey, with the good old Pyro update, they're whining about as much as all of you are. Yeah, I said it. Fight me. Uh, one more round. Ha! Ah, I missed. Oh, I missed. Ah, well, that's a shame. I hear a dozer. We can spread the dozer with this, I imagine, so we can try and do that, if I can find them. Oh, and, oh, and another thing I forgot to mention, of course, this is on single fire, but I figured you know that already. Unlike the M308, you can't switch fire modes with this, so you're locked to uh, single shot, which, well, I like. I'm not really a huge fan of, of uh, changing weapon modes anyways. I find it to be kind of annoying a lot of the time. I'll accidentally leave the wrong, long, wrong one on or something, you know. I don't think that's supposed to go there. I was gonna play Jackie, but I kind of forgot to change my character. Ah, oh, well, whatever. 
Pardon me, I'm sorry. I am horribly, horribly sick at the time of recording these. Hopefully I feel better sometime soon. It would be beautiful because I'm tired of snotting everywhere and not being able to breathe, you know? Oh, really now? Ah! Medic. Medic saved his baloney. Oh, you kidding me? There we go. You know what? Here you go. I'm gonna save one Molotov for the Commissar, because it, trust me, it helps to kill him pretty quick with that. M1 Durand, man. I find this is probably the, in a way, you could say this is the best weapon out of the pack, but I think the MP40 and this have a tough uh, competition between each other. The Luger is also really good, but Desert Eagle kind of, kind of outclasses it. And that's a common theme with the weapon, is that in a way, the stat modifiers, you know, they're free skins. But typically, I find that the weapons that they're based on, them, except the Swedish K, <laughs> uh, except the MP40 and Swedish K, usually they're better. So the Desert Eagle and M308, they kind of outclass these weapons in a way, but not to the point where you can't use these without, you know, like actually, you know, you, like after actually detrimenting yourself. I mean, you, you are in a way, but it's not horribly bad to the point where you're like, you're half using the M308. No, you don't have to. In fact, honestly, I'll probably get it. I'm gonna use this gun a lot more than the M308 because the reload speed is so what sells it for me. That's what I don't like about the M308. Is that reload speed is god awful. It really is. Even when AI boosts, it's bad. That's the best way I can sum it up. How's the drill? 15 seconds. All right, cool. We can go ahead and get this wrapped up. I've got a lot of footage of this, of course, as you can tell, but that's fine. Man, I love that sound. I really did. Alright, here we go. Just gonna unload on him with some uh, grand while he's burning. That should deal with him pretty quickly. There we go. I like that. Double taser kill right there, by the way. Awesome on my part. Oh, that's a dozer! Ooh. Hiding, hiding, hiding. We are hiding! Okay, let me get out of here. There's the chopper. Let's get out of here. Indeed. But I am not going to take any because I just want to get this done. And there we are. That is the M1 Garand weapon review, in a way. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little mini-series for Payday 2, just showcasing the new weapons. I'm not going to be doing it for every weapon in the game, no. There's plenty of videos on it already. I don't really have the time to do it, for the most part. I just want to do this for these new weapons because, honestly, well, I really like them. And I just want to kind of give some information about them. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Look at that, 183 kills. That's nice. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the little mini series. Thank you so much for watching, and of course, goodbye, darling. What did I get? I got a reinforced barrel. Nice. Goodbye, darling. <laughs>